Alright guys, how are you? Well, I've been a little busy today, as you see, not too dark at the moment, and what I've done is, I actually have, I've been putting up solar panels, so, there's one of my solar panels, I've already put two up already, but I'll actually show you in a minute, so what I've done is, I've made this little wooden ramp, I've made up uh, a little sling, uh, sling um, that goes around the panels, so virtually, and I just pulled up myself. Easy, you know. Necessity is a good way to invent things. So, what I'll do is I'll just put this sling on and show you how it looks. Well, there's my sling. So, it's made up of two tie downs with a rope that is tied in the middle. So, when I pull it, it goes all the way up. I've got anchor on the roof at the moment. So yeah, I'll just see if I can do a little demo of me pulling it up and keep going. Now here's what I've done. So so there's no chance of this rope ever going to the ground. I've just anchored it around the roof there. So all I do now is just Pull that up like that. Bit hard with one hand, so I'll stop it and bring it up. So I've already pulled it from over there. Now this is what I've done so far. Yay, two panels. Yeah, and another ten more to bloody go. Now what I've been doing is I've actually made these connections myself. Easy to make, I just did a search on YouTube on how to make up the MC4 connectors and just follow it, it's easy enough to do, virtually you strip it, or strip the wire, undo this, put the, um, this part, the end part with its rubber grommets and that onto the wire further down, then you put now you go think that if some of you don't know solar panels, you go find out that um this is the Marlin, so but what actually happens is I don't know if we can focus in there or not. Doesn't look like we can, but in there I have a small little connector, a I actually have this connector so this is the little small connector that goes into the male mc4 connector you see it's it's a small ended one okay then for the male it is a And you can see it is a big ended one. That one will go into there and covers all up. So yeah, female gets a big end, male gets a little end. And yeah, that is obviously slide in. So when you actually do put these on, you fold them down. The camera will bloody focus. Come on camera. Anyway, you fold these little tabs down over the wire. Now I cut it around about oh, one and a half, two centimeters long. Put it in, fold these tabs, and then you just slide it in from this end. So you just slide it in, push it in until it clicks. Bring the rubbers down, push it in, get a nice firm connection, and screw it back on. And hey, presto, you're done. That's how easy it is, so I might keep going here and, oh actually, one thing, I'll show you guys something. Yeah, this is what I want to show you guys. Okay, if you remember with me, I went through and installed these rails, okay. Now, you see how nice and straight they are. Now that one's slightly off, but not too much, okay. Now, just remember, this was installed by a blind man. Now, 
this has been installed by a professional sighted person. Now, don't correct me if I'm correct me if I'm wrong, but that's not really a good um, connection, is it? Crooked. It's not really lined up at all with the grooves, and most of them are like that. I think. <laughs> Let's check this one. So this one here, this one's okay. Right. Yeah, and this one's okay, so, but underneath the panels here, you won't be able to see it, but most of them have been, um, haven't really been installed properly, a fair amount of them are actually crooked. Um, I don't know what we can see here, but let's try. So, Some of them are crooked, some of them are not. But it gives you guys an idea anyway. <laughs> well, it's another day. And I did this all last night. So as you can see, there is nine panels here. Not bad. That was all done last night. Now I've got the tricky part here. So I can fit two panels there, one panel there. So what I've done is I've brought the remaining panels up. And now, all I gotta do is connect them. Now, I'm gonna show you some. I'm gonna show you some to you guys. Hold on for a minute. I'll just get down here now. Okay. <clears throat> One rule when it comes to doing your solar cable: don't skimp on your cable. Now, from this panel all the way down to in there, I am using. Four mil cable, right? Thirty amp. So all these panels come to roughly just over twenty-five amps. Now, now I've been using these connectors, okay? So these are rated for twenty-five amps. Now from here onwards, so once I from here to these panels, I'll be exceeding. 30 amps. So what I've done is, I'm now using these. Now these are rated for 50 amps. And on top of that, I'll be going from 4 mil cable to 6 mil cable. So you can see the difference there. That's 4, that's 6. So I'm going to make up a 6 mil cable. And yeah, and that will handle that will handle the work the load that I need to do. So whenever you're doing solar panels, make sure you use the correct cable. If you don't, you need to get hot wires from overloading or a fire. Um, one rule you should really do. So yeah, guys, um, I might keep going here, and I'll show you the finished product. All done. So now we have all these all set up. Nice little walkthrough gap if I want to. But yeah, no. So there you go. What I've done is, um, I put some PVC pipe just there here. Now in that, it's got all my current cables. So I got currently got three cables going through that. Well, guys, all the panels are done. Yay! I just finished wiring them up. Now, what I've just done here, this is my DC box. Can you see I've marked the wires. The red is positive and uh, black is a negative. Now, right now, I am quite pissed off with myself right now. Um, what just happened was I was just doing, you know, cutting some wire, cutting the wire, I wasn't, you know, measuring it to see, to get it into the, into this box here. And I wasn't being careful and I almost killed myself. I'm quite pissed off at how careless and how foolish I was. What happened was, it's just lucky that it got the roof and not me. I had one wire, I thought I placed it there. 
and during my movement it slipped onto here and when I was measuring the positive wire it touched right there see that burn mark that was all done with these panels that's a lot of voltage going through this this could have killed me if it touched me so yeah um, I'm quite pissed off this can kill it was that bright I, it scared the shit out of me so you guys uh, if you're doing this yourself be careful don't be foolish uh, this uh, you only get once <laughs> once once you got you're dead now I'm going to show you, I'm hoping this is going to work for me, knowing me it may not. Now, okay, that's my display, it's, there you go, 96 volts, that is how much is coming through this. So it gives you an idea, you know, how much voltage, you know, this is high voltage, this can kill you. So anyway, um, I've done that, so I've just tested my breaker. Uh, power's coming through it, like it should do. Now it's about just running the conduit from here to the inverter box. Well guys, I have done this. So now what I've done is, I've got conduit running down, down here. Okay. Then as you just see there, it comes into the box. And then comes down. And hey presto, this has been done. So, I just got to fill in a hole up there. Yes, it's a little messy. Oh well. Now, what I've done is, same, I've wired this up the same way. So now, um, virtually wires come in from here, come down into here, loop around, come into these two terminals here. Then, oh, what should I say? Yeah. Then it comes out from there, comes out here, and goes straight to these. Now I got little covers for these, so that one's a little bigger, so that just goes over here, and then same thing for this one, that one just goes straight onto there, and hey presto, now I might show you something, as you can see, this is the cart weather, overcast the white stuff, and what I'll do is I'll just hook up my meter and show you something, now I've got this hooked up, negative, negative, positive, positive, okay. Despite this cloudy day, I'm currently doing, currently draw, um, the power's are currently at 89.7. Then, I'm currently doing 29 Point three six three seven amps through um, coming off those solar panels right now. That's really good. Shows that I have got them all in series. Uh, you know, I've already uh, series them and power loaded them correctly. So now, yeah, we're pulling the right amount of amps and voltage. Uh, voltage. So there you go, guys. That's me setting up the solar panels thank you guys for watching take care